Hey guys, it's Sensei Mew212345, back for some more Let's Play Oblivion. In the last episode, we entered the Arcane University at last, and we are going to start doing things with that, like getting our first Mage's ah, Staff. You must be... This humble battle mage bids you well. Why, thank you. Anyway, we must go talk to some people about our Mage's Staff. Because we want that. That sounds like a rather awesome thingy. Let's see. First we need the wood from the Wellspring Cave. So we'll just travel out to the area where we may get that. Alright. Hurry up, loading screen. I don't like commentating over you, so may you go by faster. Master of Block has a chance of disarming a recoiling opponent. Down. Well, hurry up. Thank you. Okay. So, now we must travel out in the direction of our compass, which is the other way. Alright. Of course, what I really want to do is learn another more powerful summon now that we can, our conjuration skill is definitely high enough. I mean, after using it to train my blade skill, it's definitely risen much higher than all my other skills. It's only five more levels away from being expert level. So, yeah, probably want to get ourselves another, a new summon. Although, Summon that's too powerful may cost too much magicka to use, so we better choose wisely. The heck, why is it over here now? Let's check the map. Something's wrong. Oh, okay. I see. We're just going the wrong way again. Anyway, since this is just going to be traveling, I guess I'll just see you over there. Mud crap for the win. Ooh, look, before we can go over there, I can show you a, um, way shrine on camera. Usually when you, way shrines are out in the middle of nowhere, this is no exception. And when you find one, you can worship that god at the, any chapel anytime you wish and receive their blessing. I don't really use it that much, but hey. So now we can pray at the temple of Stendar wherever we find one. Am I being followed? Go, determine for me. Oh, it sees something. It's just a measly mud crab, though. Look at me, getting all fired up over mud crabs. Anyway, let's go over to the assigned area over here. We'll just take a shortcut through the water. Ooh, another mud crab. <laughs> of course, you'll notice in Skyrim that mud crabs are much bigger. Just pointing that out. Bigger and slightly more powerful. Not that much more powerful, though. Um... Guess who just lost his audio? Hang on just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see. Of course, I forgot to say stop and capture. Ugh. That's gonna be wonderful to time. I've arrived at Wellspring Cave. I should speak with Elette or Z Zahasra. 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 Okay. Hey! Why you attack me, sir? Oh, a zombie. I'm so scared. We'll see whose summon is better. Oh, stop running away from me, you fool. Necromancer. You come hither, you.
Yes, I am far more powerful than you are. Let's see. Yes, you go fudge yourself. There's nothing you can do that can effectively fight me. Let's see. Ah! Fool, you think this zombie is going to be able to defeat me? Yes, you burn and die in the water. Okay, let's see. Now I think we have to travel under the water. I have found Zahasrala, who is dead. I should investigate what happened to her. Let's see, we'll take the key. Probably want that. Your presence here will not Oh really? I because I do believe I can tolerate my presence here. Of course, right, the reasons why you can't is because you're just stupid. Oh. And not powerful enough to fight someone as powerful as myself. We'll just open this up with the Wellspring Cave Key. And we need to get some wood from the thing around here. What have we here? Another plaything? You will dance for me, little one. Yes, you will. I will make your corpse dance and then tear itself apart. Oh, really? Uh, and you think you can do this how? Uh, uh, yeah, you just got pwned. What did you guys expect, you fools? I'm just totally destroying these guys. Necromancers that ambushed me have been defeated. I need to get wood for a staff and get back to Raminus Polis to tell him what happened. We'll see what these guys had on them. These stupid noobs thinking they can beat me. I mean, come on. How could you possibly have defeated me? I killed you the very moment you tried to attack me. Ah, <sighs> you guys are such fools. Anyway, we'll take the unfinished staff. And then we'll take that back to the Arcane University. Oop da dum. Ba da ba da dum. All right. So, let's see. What have we got here? Door to the Archmage's lobby. Must talk to Raminus Polis about what just happened. Because these noobs tried to attack me. And hang on, we probably want to wait till daylight. Because he's probably gone off somewhere that we can't follow. Alrighty, still in there. That's alright, people should start to wake up now. How do you do? Alright. Where did you go? Must have left as soon as I came in. Let's see, I want to talk to you. What? Necromancers at the cave? Yep. Yeleta and Zarasha dead. I can't Zarasha. They've never been so bold before now. Always hiding in the shadows, staying away from the guild. What could have prompted this? 
I'll need to speak to the council about this. Thank you for relaying the information. I'll tend to your staff and your wounds if necessary. What wounds? Dear I pwned the them. can help you with the staff. See him right away. You were no match for me at all. You shall have a So let's go get this staff made. Saboop ba doop. Hurrah! All right, you make me a staff. You, Martina Flori. I know it's you who must make me a staff. How are you? Welcome to the Caronasium. Can I help you? My mage's staff. Ah, yes. This is a big step for you, friend, whether you know it or not. Now you'll need to decide what sort of staff you're looking for. Something that fits you and your abilities. Shall we begin? Yes. Enchanting staves can be a tricky business. Only certain spells will be truly useful to you, so I'll narrow it down some. Let's start with the school. Which appeals most to you? Destruction, illusion, or mysticism? Anyway, definitely destruction. Pick destruction. You are a fool if you pick anything else. Very well. You have three choices for what type of damage you'd like it to do. Fire, frost, or shock. Alright, so... We'll have it do... Fire damage. You'll have a staff capable of creating fireballs. If that's what you want, I'll get started right away. Otherwise, we can start over. That's what I want. Right. I'll get to work. You come see me tomorrow, and I'll have your staff ready. Awesome. Perfect, Mace Windu. So, 24 hours, here we go. Da -ba -dum -ba -dum. Finally. Good morning. Welcome to the Cairo. My staff? Yes, it's all finished. It's in that cupboard back in the corner. I hope it serves you well. Bye. Good time. Mage's staff of fire. Fire damage, 60 points on target. Law what? See, I told you we would want this. That's awesome. To say the least. Yeah, you totally want that. And also, here's an altar of enchanting. With this, you can enchant your items. Although, I don't think I am quite powerful enough to give anything much. So, let's see. I'll try our petty soul gem. It's about all we have. Probably won't actually give it an enchantment. Because I highly doubt we can d give this thing anything good. Yeah, we can't give this thing anything. We'll need more powerful soul gems. And more lo money, more than likely. Anyway, I'll also show you over to the... Altar of Spellmaking. Time you need. I've been about Let's see. How do you do? Ah, good we'll just head straight over here to the Paxographical Center. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hail. Let's see. Here's where we can make spells. We can only use effects that we already know, so be warned of that. Let's see. Fortify attribute. Hmm. Let's see. Fortify strength. Range on myself, obviously. Magnitude. How much? Let's see. And 
we only have 175 gold, so we can't really make anything that awesome. I guess we can make a new summon scamp spell in which the scamp lasts longer, because the one we have right now isn't that good. Or actually, we'll make a stronger shield spell. Should probably do that. So let's see. You'd think you'd only need a spell like this to work for about that long. So let's see. Just how high can we turn up the magnitude before the cost is too high? Ooh, right there. Anyway, pretty sure I won't be needing too much gold for anything for a while. And if I do suddenly need gold for something, I can always do. Just so that I don't have to do like hours of stuff off camera trying to make gold. Anyway, we'll take this. I really want to make this spell because it would be very helpful. A lot better than our current shield spell. Let's make sure we can actually cast it. Requires alteration skill of 50, which we have. And we will make a Skyrim reference and call it Ebony Flesh. Ebony Flesh. There we go. Shield 34% for 20 seconds. Awesome. We now have an awesome shield spell for when we need to do some close combat. We'll go ahead and put that on. Now, how much of our magicka will this cost us when we use it? Not that bad. Considering how much damage it protects us from. It protects us from more damage than all our armor combined, I do believe. Speaking of which, we should probably repair it. Repairing armor and weapons, you'll need a repair hammer. Multiple, preferably, because you'll often break repair hammers at lower levels. There we go. And I have some extra items I need to sell. I'll sell those off camera. Anyway, remember what we saw was going on in Kavach? You should probably go check that out now. Make sure everyone's alright. We'll travel to Kavach. Come on, loading screen, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Okay, there we go, just about there. Oh, come on, you only need to go like a millimeter more, come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that took a lot longer than it needed to. Let's see, what's going on around here? It's the smell. Let's see. Let's go up here and make sure everything's all right up here. Hope is gone. The Imperial line is dead. The Covenant is broken. The enemy has won. What about Martin? If you mean the priest, I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But Sanvli and Matthias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. All right, well then... Let's head up here. Alright, fine. I'll stop talking to you. Whatever. Someone's a little emo, so we'll just head up here. And make sure everything's good. Oh, what's up with the sky turning red? Just what is going on? Well, get used to what you see happening with the sky, because... Once we do this quest, this is going to happen a lot more often. Yep. Because guess what's up here? Our first gate to oblivion. Anyway, we need to talk to Savly and Matthias. Better put this on our current quest line. 
Whoa, hey. Bad scam. Okay, Savvy and Matthias, come here. Come hither. S come on. I'm just trying to talk to you. Or do you want us to kill all these stupid things first? Happy now. Now will you talk to me? Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What happened here? We lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. That damned oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Well, do you want any help? You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I'll do whatever I can. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were. Look at the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. All right. What about Martin? You mean the priest? Last I saw him, he was... Leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them. At least safe for the moment. If he's not. What about the Oblivion Gate? Some kind of portal to Oblivion. The enemy used them to attack the city. They appeared outside the walls and Daedra poured out. They've opened one right in front of the city gates. Until that gate is closed, the best I can do is try to hold these barricades. All right. It's a brave thing. Okay, let's go do this. So let's open the Oblivion Gate to the Plain of Oblivion. All right, here we are. We are now in oblivion although I do think this is where we're gonna end the episode because this is gonna take way too long so save this guy at least stupid things die you fiend what's the matter Stupid monsters can't win. Alright, we got him. Mr. Person. Now will you talk to me? Thank the Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... Taken. They were taken to the tower. It's alright, what's going on? Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. Fine. Captain Captain Matthias needs your help. The captain is still holding the barricade. I figured I was the last one left alive. All right. I'll try to get out of here. Let the captain know what's going on. All right. Perfect. Anyway, since... The remainder of this part of the quest line is going to take way too long. 
This is Sensei Mewtwo12345 ending this gaming lesson.